name is Glenn Denemy. I'm the Chief Engineer for Hybrid Powertrain Systems for Chrysler LLC. So, Glenn, we've, we've learned that there's a little something that Chrysler has a patent on that no one else has, has used, and this is the first time it's been in one of your cars. Explain what it is. Well, it has to do with the air conditioning system because as you work with hybrids, you look for energy efficiencies in all of the systems, not only in the drivetrain. Um, what we've done in this car, we've used a 300 volt air conditioning compressor to power the AC system. Now that's nothing new. There's other hybrids out there that have that. But what we've done is integrated a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor together. Uh, it's placed in the cabin on the windshield. And what it does is it actually measures the, how you feel in the cabin. And it allows me to keep the comfort, but also allows me to only operate the AC compressor when I have to. And it allows me to control the recirc door on the AC system, uh, again, to keep the comfort level in the, in the car. So we're able to only run the AC system when we need to at the speed we need to. And a lot of other times, is, there's a lot of overkill if you don't have a system like this. So this is looking for every way to save watts of energy, and, and that directly relates to fuel economy. Okay. On, on the East Coast, you have humidity. Yeah. On the West Coast, where I live, we don't really have a whole lot of humidity. But when we come out here, it comes in through all the circulation vents, etc. Yeah. And, that, and that sensor actually will measure, list, that. measure it yeah. and then... React the system to it to keep you comfortable, but not waste energy in doing that. Now, we're in front of your uh, new hybrid engine. Yes. How, where, is, where is this piece located in the engine? AC compressor is off of the engine, and it, it's bolted down there. It's very difficult to see in here, but there is no belt going to the AC compressor. It's straight down. Um, it's like a cylindrical unit coming out. Um, but you can see that there's no belt going to it, and that's the 300 volt AC compressor. You can see the only belt we have on the front of the engine goes from the crank damper at the bottom of the engine mm -hmm. to the water pump. Otherwise, we've taken all the loads off the engine to help with uh, with loss belt. You know, the, the, the loss that you get by spinning the belt and the pulleys. So the, the alternator is not here anymore. The power steering pump is not here anymore. The AC compressor is, is, is it's there, but it's not connected to the belt because it's not driven by the engine. Anymore. Where we've mounted this sensor, this integrated humidity and temperature sensor, is right under the mirror here. Both sensors are mounted in the same package, and they measure the again the humidity and temperature levels within the vehicle. So that allows us to optimize the efficiency of that compressor and, and the AC system. Now you're a powertrain guy. Yes, I am. How did you guys figure this one out? Well, as we sat down. Um, we went through all of the areas in the car and said, how can we make this car more efficient? And my role, yeah, I'm a powertrain guy, but my role in this vehicle, um, I also was responsible for um, changing anything that needed to be uh, changed uh, for like e-drive modes because we, um, we, when you talk about that, it's the steering, the brakes, the AC compressor. Um, so I had control over all aspects of improving the fuel economy on, on this car, not just the powertrain, because there's other things you can do in the car to improve the fuel economy. So I had the EPA puts your car on a dynameter mm -hmm. and then figures out your miles per gallon. Yeah. Will they be able to register this or is this no. only real world? This is only real world. We we put this on there to help the customer achieve real world fuel economy. Uh, volt, uh, your 300 volt piece made by? Uh, the, the 300 volt AC compressor is uh, manufactured by Denso. Okay. And, but you do have the patent on it. It's it, patent pending, yeah. Now, is it solely Chrysler or is Mercedes involved in it? This was developed when we were still one company with Daimler, and uh, so both of us will have rights to this patent. Now, GM, BMW, and uh, what used to be Daimler Chrysler are all part of the two-mode hybrid. Correct. Will it only be you and Mercedes then that get to use this? Yes, because... Uh, what is it called? Integrated humidity temperature sensor. Um, yeah, Daimler and Chrysler are the only ones that, are, that have this uh, patent, and the, um, the cooperation was more focused around the two-mode system, and we all have access to that, but um, this would have been kind of out of scope of that agreement. It's a, this, this will give you... That helps that out, yeah. Is it, you know, you have to look for every gram of fuel that you can take out and every watt of electrical um, power that's being utilized to take out because that translates directly back to fuel also. So every everywhere you look, you have to, in a vehicle like this, you have to look for efficiencies and how you can improve it. Glenn, thank you very much. You're welcome.